Hi guys, Dane here, and today I'm going to be doing the cryptid book tag. So this was created by Steve Donahue, and I was tagged by Mark Nash. Uh, he tagged me in the comments after we got chatting about it. A bunch of questions and answers. You know what a tag is at this point. So I'm going to go through and answer the questions, and then we'll tag some people at the end. So, question one. A cryptid is a mystery animal whose fans say it definitely could exist. How do you deal with books recommended to you by their fervent true believers? I, I just don't read them, you know? Um, I mean, it depends on the book, really. I mean, if it's something like David Icke, I'm not going to read it. Um, I guess like the Bible, for example, I do want to... I want to read the major religious books at some point, even though I don't believe in them. So quite often, just because a fervent believer of something recommends something and I don't believe in it, it doesn't mean that I'm not going to read it, if that makes sense. Um, but as a general rule, I mean, I only read books that grab my attention, you know, so, uh, and those books are much less likely to grab my attention, so don't really, don't really have to deal with them, I just ignore them. Question number two, cryptozoology is typically mocked as a pseudoscience pursued by charlatans and scientific illiterates, and yet it's oddly fun to investigate. Name a non-cryptology kind of book that's likewise fun, though deeply, deeply flawed. So we're going to go for any of Dan Brown's uh, novels, well, specifically the Robert Langdon novels. I like that answer because they're not about cryptology, they're about symbology. It's very similar, but slightly different, I guess. Or at least he's a symbologist. Um, and yeah, they have that similar kind of fun, I guess, um, despite it being deeply flawed. Question number three, Cryptid Water Monsters, a favourite water-related book. Now, I wouldn't say this is like an all-time favourite book, but I struggled to think of books that specifically water-related. But what I did think quite, quite quickly as it goes was uh, June by Frank Herbert. I mean, I have Fear is the Mind Killer tattooed on my arm, so I guess I do like the book to a certain extent. But I also like the, the way that it investigates water as a theme and the way that these societies are built around water and water possession and water ownership, you know? Question number four. Cryptid Dog Monsters. A favourite book about a dog or dog-like creature. So for me, this would be any of the Terry Pratchett Discworld novels about Gaspode the Wonder Dog. He's like a talking dog. Uh, he, he gained a quite high level of intelligence from eating the refuse from the bins outside Unseen University, which is where the wizards are. And uh, he just has... He, I don't know, he's a great character. He makes me laugh all the time, you know? Question number five. Cryptid Biped Monsters. A favourite book featuring a hominid who isn't Homo sapiens. So I guess I'll go for Kirk Sandblaster by Ollie Jacobs and indeed any of the books in that series. They're kind of humorous space adventure, uh, adventures a la Douglas Adams, I guess. Um, and Kirk's uh, sidekick is an alien called Zla. He has two legs, four arms, and uh, he's a badass. I love Zla. Question number six, Cryptid Avian Monsters, a favorite book featuring a bird. So I'm gonna go for what I have over here, one of my currently reading books, which is The Wind Up Bird Chronicle by Haruki Murakami. And, uh, well, I mean, the bird is in the title, I guess. I mean, it's not necessarily like a major thing throughout it. It's, uh, there are a lot of themes to that book, and that's just one of them, you know? So, um, but yeah, it does feature a bird. Question number seven, Cryptid Cat Monsters, a favourite book featuring a cat. Extra points if the cat is terrifyingly enormous. I couldn't think of one with a terrifyingly enormous cat. Uh, I've gone for The Subtle Knife by Philip Pullman, which is the second book in the His Dark Materials trilogy. Um... I think it's quite a good answer because, again, it's not about a cat, but a cat is very important to part of the plot towards the beginning. And without this cat, the rest of the book wouldn't, and the rest of the trilogy even, wouldn't really happen. Uh, it's an underrated moment, I think. When I hear people talking about it, they don't normally talk about this moment with a cat. And it's something that really stuck with me after I first read it. Question number eight. Are you, in fact, a cryptid? Give yourself one point for each yes. So I guess I'll hold up a finger for every yes. So start with zero. Are you often met by disbelief or even horror by those who encounter you? Probably not, so that's good. Question number two. Are there people in the world who consider you mostly or entirely mythical? Again, pro probably not. Question number three. Is there anything about you that science finds puzzling? I mean, my IBS that is basically a catch-all um, diagnosis for when they don't really know what's wrong with you. So possibly that. In your natural, number four, in your natural state, do you typically emit odd noises or odours? Yes, mostly odd noises. Question number five, are you an evolutionary dead end, scorned by the modern world? Possibly because I plan to never have children, so I am an evolutionary dead end. And I am a bit scorned by the modern world because I don't really live like a normie. 
And question number six, do you occasionally exhibit near human levels of intelligence? Uh, that's a yes, but only when I'm feeling a bit a bit dopey, as a, as a general rule. I, I think I have, sub, no, slight, well, just, just human levels of intelligence. This, this question was evidence that I occasionally have only near human levels of intelligence. So, I guess four. So, I am probably am a cryptid. So, that was the uh, cryptid book tag. As usual, I'm going to tag a few people to do this after me. So, I usually go into my comments and look at some people who've recently commented. So, that's what we're going to do now. Alright, so I'm going to tag Made With Books. Uh, one book, one review. Although, I don't think she does tag videos, but maybe if she fancies it. Todd the Librarian, of course. Uh, Charlie Heathcote. Alex Black Reads. Bookham Jenna. Jason's Weird Reads. Uh, Eva from Fred Weezy Died Laughing. Mindy from Mindy's Book Journey. And one more. Jaden Reads as well. So there we have it. That is my take on the Cryptid Book Tag. As always, don't forget to let me know in the comments what you thought of this tag. If you've read any of the books that I mentioned, etc, etc. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit subscribe for more. And I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.